So I asked him, you know, what's the problem with where you're at? Yeah, well, I hear, you know, people are making this much, that much, this much, that much. And, you know, I mean, it, I could be making more and all this other type of stuff. And it's like, okay, before we go down this path, let me ask you some questions. What's your benefits package? And when I asked him this question, a lot of words were said, but what, the, what I gathered from it is, you don't know. That's what I gathered from it. Oh, well, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly, but I know it's good. What would they match you with? What do you mean? Oh my God, bro, it's not looking good. But what do they match you? Did they match your 401k? I'm sure they do. What do they match? They don't tell you. And now we're getting, now you're lying. Now you need to stop. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. But matter of fact, they lead with it. They lead with how much they match. So come on, bro. What's the, what is the match? Uh, I mean, I know. Uh, okay, okay. You don't know the match. At least what are you, what are you putting in it? I think it's like, it's like, you don't know, bro. You don't know what you're putting in it. You know you're putting something, but you don't know what it is. You know that they match, but you don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. Just tell me you don't know what it is. I mean, I don't really know directly because like, I'm trying to run a bag. and Bro, slow you down. You didn't come to me to get a, uh, a, a, a get-rich-quick scheme conversation because I'm not going to give that to you. All right, what's your deductible? What you mean? Jesus, what do I mean? God. What what is your deductible? You tell me you got two kids. What's your deductible? Your insurance deductible. What is it? What what is your deductible? You tell me you got two kids. What's your deductible? Your insurance deductible. What is it? T finesse, I see you. T finesse, I see you. Well, um, I don't know exactly. You don't know what your deductible is? Do you know what your do you know what your deductible is? What it's for? I mean, I know it's like in the benefit somewhere, but you know, I didn't really read over it. Your deductible is, in your health insurance is how much there you got to pay before your insurance kicks in. That's what that is. That's what you're supposed to. So if you get really messed up and your deductible is $6,000, you got to come up with six grand before your insurance kicks in out of your pocket. They tell you that right there in the orientation, bro. Right there. See, a lot of this stuff, when, when, when y'all come around and say, oh, you know, we uh we getting raped and all this stuff. A lot of the stuff times y'all don't be getting raped. Y'all just don't know what's going on. You don't know what your deductible is. You don't know what your copay is. And if you need if if you got a copay or what is it? And let's let's go back further than that. You don't even know what these terms are. If I was to walk up to T Finesse and ask him, What's your deductible? He'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, here is twenty five hundred woo 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 woo. Copay, so and so, twenty five hundred and eighty percent, twenty five hundred and a hundred percent, depending on if it's elective or is it a necessary. So he would know exactly what it is. Is it cosmetic? If I said to him, well, you know, do they pay cosmetic? Do they pay elective? Do they pay, you know, uh, 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 maintenance visits, uh, wellness visits? A lot of places, you know, if T be able to tell me, oh yeah, well I get a hundred percent, no copay, no deductible. Uh, they pay for all your your checkups and all that stuff, the uh, pre uh, maintenance stuff. He would know exactly what I'm talking about. See, he knows it. Mine is 3,500 deductible. He would know exactly what I'm talking about. You coming to me for me to tell you how to get rich quick. I, that's not, I, I'm not, I, I'm not interested in that. And I don't know what it, I don't think that helps you. I don't think that helps you. What's your workman come? What do they pay you if you get hurt? Oh, I have to read that. You don't know nothing, bro. You don't know nothing. Nothing at all. See, this isn't a glamorous conversation. You understand? It's not a glamorous conversation. That's why you don't hear the cash app going off. These are conversations people like not to think about. I don't think about that. Because this conversation I'm having with you requires you to wrestle with your mortality. So when you hear, see people acting in a way that is not helping them, or in a crazy way, or in a way like there is no consequences, they haven't addressed their mortality yet. Mortality means death for the stupid. So they are running around with a light belief that I'm not going to die. Or I just haven't thought of dying at all. I'm going to live forever. Not going to get old. So I can run in this truck, eat fast food, drive this to IV. I see you hit the cash app. Drive this truck, uh, eat fast food, sit on my butt, eat sugar, have loose sex, not care about my finances, not care about my benefits because there is no, there is no consequence. If, if I believe it's never going to end, I don't have to address the benefits package and the orientation. I don't have to care about that. All I have to care about, all those things I talked to you about, all they, all they care about is what I make per mile. 
What do I take home? That's it. I don't care about nothing. I don't worry about that. I'm trying to get to making five grand a week. You talking about? That's not sexy. It's not. It's not a a grabber. People are not coming in. Oh yeah, man. You know what I want to hear about my benefit. They don't care. You don't care. It's boring. Matter of fact, have y'all breeze through that portion of the orientation. Something that is hard to do in this present society is to keep a monogamous relationship. But there are there's compound interests that builds up with a long term relationship. Robert could tell you. So the people who are out here saying, well, you know, I'm chasing the chunky bottle, the hot sack of Jawea, you don't get that compound interest that Mr. Wallace gets, Robert Wallace gets. You don't get that. You're going from person to person to person to person, messing up relationship, 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 relationship. You're doing that over and over and over and over again. And that's cute when you're 24 and 25 and 22 and 21 and 18. That's cute. That shit is not cute after 35 years old. It's not. It's not cute, bro. It doesn't look like you're a player. It looks like you have an inability to keep a relationship. It looks like you have an inability to problem solve. It looks like you have an inability to have critical thinking. It looks like you have an inability to care about anything other than yourself. That's what it looks like. Then when you get to your 50s and you're still doing it, you're degenerate at that point. That's how people think. You must be. Robert Wallace, how long you been in your relationship, Robert? Robert Wallace has a major expense taken off the table because of his long-term monogamous relationship. His ability to commit. I'm having this benefits package and how much is your copay conversation with you and Robert don't got to pay it at all. He, he's covered. He just breeze in, show the car, go in there, get his, get his uh, body check and roll out. He ain't talking, he ain't got to worry about deductibles. He ain't got to worry about any of that. Robert Wallace, I see you. You don't have to worry about none of that. I'm good to go. It come, it, it builds up. You understand? Blake Moore, I see you. Hit the cash app. It builds up. So when I tell you that the womanizing and all that stuff, and uh, there is a consequence to it. The inability to understand your paperwork and orientation, the inability to 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 understand, you know, what words mean, the inability to understand how severe what you're looking at means, like what this orientation paper means for you down the line. You need to know what that means. You got to, bro, because when you come in contact with someone who's an adult and I ask you these questions and you can't give me the answer to them, you know, it's there, but you don't know. The first thing it tells me is you're not serious about your situation. You're not serious about life. You just want some money to buy something. I immediately look at your consumer. You're a hundred percent American materialistic consumer. And all you care about is getting the credits to purchase the stuff. That's it. It tells me you do not have the gift of this, the gift of discernment. You don't have the gift of foresight. You only see what's right in front of you. So when it comes down to it, when I um thank thank you plant plant, when it comes down to it, oops, when it comes down to it, I can gauge if you're a person that is a grown up or not. I can gauge it. You believe that your health is going to, it's going to last. It's going to last. I'm not. Uh, you know, hey, my health will last. You have not gotten to the point where it's a worry. So you live like it doesn't exist. Here's the truth about the situation. For most of us, your health is not going to last the way you think it's going to last. Because you have not you have not accepted the truth about your job. So let's get into your job. Your job is to sit in one place for 11 hours a day. And then when you're done, they want you to go to sleep right after. And they want you to do that for 2 to 30 to 60 days at a time. At a time. And then when you stop to get some food, as Plant Based said... They're serving you stuff that kills people who don't drive trucks. And it, 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 it especially hurts us. Then when you get there, they're serving you bread, serving you white bread buns, which is sugar. It metabolizes the sugar in your uh, system. Meat, which is processed and cheap. 
potatoes, white starch, and sugar water. That's the only thing they're offering you to eat. 